Hi guys, I have a prophetic message for someone. It's very beautiful. So the Lord showed me you last night and um, the way he showed it to me is you are someone that's in the entertainment industry. You are, you're very, I'm going to say this, you're very tall. You're like a couple shades darker than me. Um, very like slim, very beautiful. And um, you know, he, what he showed me was, he showed me, I want to, I'm getting emotional now. So <laughs> he said, you're a model. And he showed me you, and he literally, when he showed me you, he showed me a prophecy of yours that's going to come to pass. Um, not past, it's going to come to pass, not past. <laughs> um, and he showed me that you're a model, but he also showed me that you're also um, in the entertainment industry, as in, like, you go for auditions for movies and commercials and stuff like that, right? And when he showed me, what when he showed me you, he showed me you, he showed me two major directors looking at your resume for a movie role and this movie role requires um fighting like combat right like fighting and stuff like that and he showed me you fighting for at the addition auditioning for the role and what stood out to me about your resume because he was looking at your res this guy was looking at your resume and, and someone else's and what stood out to me about your resume was how you carry yourself on your resume the first thing that came up on your resume is elegance and sophisticated and classy and that's what made you stand out from the other individuals is the way you carry yourself which means that not only was this was these these directors or casting directors not only were they just looking at your resume but they I feel like they've been observing you ahead of time right because the first thing on your resume was elegance elegance and classy and sophisticated so I feel like, the, and then as I was reading it, I was reading it with them, okay? As I was reading it with them, we saw visions of you, like, fighting and doing the combat role, but you were fighting with elegance, so it's kind of like you're very prissy and stuff, but at the same time, you're kind of, like, fighting, right? And I was like, I like her, you know, and that's what made you stand out from everybody else is the way you carry yourself which like i said which indicated to me that these directors these cast and call directors they were watching you from the beginning for a very long time and um what really stood out to me as well was when after, after i read your resume and stuff with them i heard the lord say to me she's fighting just like you that's why you're fighting in the movie role she he said she is fighting just like you so when he said that, I knew right away that he was talking about warfare and he was talking about people trying to stop, you know, stop you from, from elevating, people trying to stop you from getting to the top. And I'm not sure what type of exact battles you're facing, but I, I know that when you are someone that is in the industry and you are someone that, you know, goes out there and, and additions for roles in the industry, Oftentimes, when you do have haters, you'll have people out there that try to ruin your your reputation publicly so you don't get any type of job. So when they look you up online, negativity comes with your name, right? Even if you're not that type of person, that's often what haters do. So when he was showing me that, I'm like, yeah, she's probably going through what I'm going through. And he said, she's just like you. So then I wasn't sure if I should put the prophecy out for you um, because what the prophecy is, is you know, first of all, I wasn't sure if I should put it out. And as I was waking up, he said, you have to. So I'm like, okay. But the prophecy is what, what God told me is you got to keep fighting. And he also said that, um, you leave it now? My son's in the crowd. One second, y'all. My son didn't want me kissing him on camera. <laughs> He's so embarrassed. Bye, baby. Love you. So, yeah. So basically what he, um... What he was saying was like, I have to put the prophecy out, right? I'm like, okay. And um, the prophecy is he wants you to keep fighting because he said that that's going to happen. Your 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 biggest role, the major role that's that you're gonna get, and your real like your real job is a model, but you're looking into getting to acting, right? So the role that you're going to get is gonna be your leading role, and it's gonna be a big role, and what's like i said what's really making you stand out is the way you carry yourself your elegance and your class okay and god said no one can ever make you look like something that you're not because he is saying that he will vindicate you okay and he will he will vindicate you that's why i don't i don't care about all this stuff you know because at the end of the day i know me i know my heart god knows my heart god knows who i am as a person right um 
so your your prophecy is that you are good to continue to fight and not to give up because you are going to get your breakthrough you're going to get your break and it's going to be two people and continue to carry yourself with sophistication and class because like i told many of you guys before whoever's listening to this prophecy and this individual um you know how you carry yourself in public in person around others is very very important don't ever do anything to that that is out of the norm that is not of you because you never know who's watching and and if you continue to be who you are and you continue to be authentic eventually people will know people will find out the truth okay so just continue to fight this is actually going to happen for you your hair was also in a ponytail um but you, they're looking at you. They're watching you. And this is going to be a very important role. Okay. And um, yeah, don't give up and keep fighting. And to anybody else watching this, I hope this this can teach a lot of us too. You know, why it's important to, you know, be your authentic self. And like I said, why it's important not to do things out of the norm. And remember, you never know who's keeping an eye on you. You never know who God is going to use to bless you. So don't don't sabotage your blessings because of others. Don't act out of your character because of other people. Let people say what they want to say. Let people believe what they want to believe. You get what I'm saying? Let pe it's, it's sad too, because I'm in the entertainment industry myself, and a lot of people will look at me and be like, oh, because you went to school for performing arts, you're a liar, you're this, you're that, not realizing there's an art behind performing arts. There's an art. Not everyone that's in the industry is a liar. There's people that go to school for performing arts and there, a lot of times we go for roles that relate to our life we go to we go for roles that we can relate to because we don't have to pretend to be something we're not because we can we know exactly how that character feels we can put ourselves in that character's shoes we can cry because we go back to a place where we've been hurt just like that do you get what i'm saying and i always tell people i don't have to act in my own movie this is my own movie i don't have to act in my own movie do you get what i'm saying so I always just tell you guys, just be authentic, be yourself, and continue to push. And whoever this prophecy is for, girl, don't give up. I feel your pain. I know what you've been through. God showed me some things about you, and pretty hurts. Okay, let's just say that. Pretty hurts. And yeah, you're going to get a lot of haters, but at the end of the day, you just have to keep pushing. And trust me, I saw the prophecy, and he told me I have to put it out. And you have two people who are, you know looking at you and wanting to wanting to give you that role and it's going to happen continue to fight it's not going to be in vain and you're not fighting for no reason and the lord says you know like i said you know the lord says you know um be still i will fight for you i know god always says that yes he says be still i'll fight for you but what he means by you fighting is not giving up basically and just having the faith Do you get what i'm saying like having the faith and not giving up because even though he told moses to be still i will fight for you he's moses still had to use the staff moses still had to lead the israelites so he was still fighting in a way but god was doing the heavier battles behind the scenes okay i love you guys i'll talk to you soon bye